Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny 2. All right, guys, time for the weekly reset. All the new activities to do within Destiny for the week of October 17th. Quick PSA, tomorrow the 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, the Leviathan Prestige Mode Raid will be available, and I'll be streaming it right here on YouTube, so keep it locked in here. Turn on notifications. All right, let's go through all the new activities to do within Destiny for the week of October 17th. So looking at all your milestones, these are all the things that are going to give you powerful gear, up to 300 power. So the flashpoint this week is Titan. So you want to go to Titan and just complete public events, but before you do that, you want to make sure you go see Kate 6 and grab these treasure maps. Now, every week, these treasure maps, I think one of them will give me an exotic Engram. For the most part, sometimes they can give you one of those faction weapons, too. So, you want to go to Titan, and you just want to do public events over and over. Come back to Cade 6, and he'll give you powerful gear. Clan XP, just make sure you go onto your clan roster, and on each character, you get up to 5,000 XP, and you'll get some powerful gear. You go over to uh, Soraya Hawthorne. Where is she located? She's all the way over here. Rest of the milestones. We have the Nightfall. Let's go take a look and see what that is this week, and we'll check all the modifiers and so forth so we have what strike oh it's the exodus crash strike modifiers are prism your attacks matching the focused element deal increased damage all other elemental damage is reduced kinetic and incoming damage is unaffected the focus element rotates periodically so basically want to go in there and switch between arc solar void and so forth then we have time warp rings again all right vex time gates have appeared in the area pass through them to discharge temporal energy and extend the mission timer so that's the 240 version, and I'm assuming the 300 is exactly the same. Yeah, Prism and also Rings. So before we check in with Tess Evers here, uh, real quick. So the Leviathan Raid gives you powerful gear, and you have your call to arms down at the bottom. Just play Crucible Magic to get powerful gear. But since Prestige is dropping tomorrow, kind of like Destiny 1, do you get double drops if you just do Prestige and not the regular version of the raid? I don't know. I think I'm going to skip doing the regular Leviathan and wait until Prestige tomorrow. Anyway, yeah, so tune in tomorrow around 1 p.m. I'll be streaming it live here. All right, let's see what she has this week. All right, so for ornaments, what do we got? Oh, she has an exotic ship, too. So for ornaments, she's got the hard line and also the, is that the fighting line? I always get the names wrong. Yeah, fighting line. So this is what this thing looks like with the ornament on, kind of greenish, red. Uh, hard light, buy this ornament. This thing looks so freaking cool as you change the actual elements here. Hey, do I not have it? Oh, I didn't even have it. Oh, sorry, I had it on the wrong wrong hard light. Yeah, when you change the ornaments here, especially the void one, the void looks the coolest. Yeah, when you change your element on hard light, so I would definitely buy that ornament from her. All right, she has the, uh, whatever that's called, Vengeance. I have that ship already. That actually looks really cool, with, especially when you, throw, when you throw on new monarchy shaders on all the ships, they look really cool. All right, what else we got here? We got the Breakpoint ship. Not impressed with that. We have the Chronoglass, and when you buy these sparrows, they will randomly roll with a mod. All right, we have uh, the Six Shooter. I have this one. This is probably one of my favorite emotes. You can buy that. How much are these? Oh, wow. She, these are not cheap. 3250 We have the Confused emote. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. You clearly look confused, and I'm not buying that. All right, we've got the helmet this week, the uh, Mask of Optimacy. You have some ghost shells, and these will randomly roll with stuff. So uh, I don't have my ghost shells on me, but I, I have one for Titan. I have one for Io. I have one for the EDZ in terms of giving me glimmer, showing me where the loot chests are. All right, this is Vanguard Magnus Gloss. That's kind of a cool-looking shader, actually. It's my Iron Banner gear set. We have Haka History Polish. That's pretty ugly. <laughs> and what about this one here? Dawn and Dusk. Uh, it's very purplish and kind of pinkish. Yeah, not really my stilo. All right, fire team medallions. I always buy these and just pop them at all times. Basically, you just you get increased XP gains. You get some more loot for you and your fire team members from strikes, public events, and crucible. So I think that's pretty much it for the reset, guys. That's it. Do me a favor. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mesa Sean. Check out my stream. Usually and always on YouTube. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.